welcome to vlogmas day nine right yeah <laughs> okay so uh i hope you're having a wonderful day today uh let me show you the blanket that i was i've been working on this is the chevron scrappy chevron blanket and yesterday i had this pretty coral color to put in my blanket so i got that put in so here it is here's my colors so far I'm really enjoying these colors. I think that it just turned out so cool. <laughs> so as you can see, I've got my main color that I started with. And then every six rows, I put in um, this green, the main color again, this green, which is the Karen one pound um, grass green. And so um, I have one stripe here and then one stripe here. So today with today um today's box which is this one i'm going to put that color in and then it'll be time for me to put another green stripe in okay and so the green stripes i'm only putting one row and the, the other colors i'm doing two of each so there is my blanket okay <laughs> so far there's all of it <laughs> okay so let's go ahead and open the box and see what today's color is going to be Okay, so we have another purple. It's a little bit different than my the purple I did a few days ago. See, this one is this great color. So see, it's different. It's like a, it is like kind of like a plum purple, I guess. And so that is going to be going right up here. And so I'll be doing two rows, two rows of this, and then I will put one row of my uh, main color in there. Okay, so Christmas movie of the day, so I won't forget. Well, I didn't forget. I was at the at end of yesterday's video but yesterday i watched the bells of saint mary's and i think i'm kind of on a bing crosby kick so i think today i'm going to be watching white christmas i know it's available on on uh, netflix so that's probably where i'll watch it and i don't know for sure if it's here on youtube or not but it is available on netflix okay so that's what I'm going to be watching. I love I love that the the song in White Christmas, the one that's called Sisters. I think it's such a cute song. Uh I don't have a sister, but um I, I thought it was cute. <laughs> okay, uh, I did have a, I do have a few people that are doing the chevron blanket, or some most of them are actually doing the chevron blanket pattern with me. Uh, I do have a few that are doing. Uh, I know I have one at least that's doing a scrappy project along with me um, over at the fa on the Facebook group, but she's doing squares, and I have gotten a, a few pictures here and there of people's projects and their progress on them, and so I was wanting to share them on here. So the first one is Crystal. I'm looking at my notes here. So the first one I'm going to show you is uh, Crystal uh, of Chronically Crocheting. She started working on a chevron blanket, and so I will insert that picture right here. So here's Crystal's picture, and as you can see, she started out with a wonderful pink and then added a variegated on there to the project. <laughs> and so uh, thank you so much. I'm looking at my notes here, make sure I get it right. But thank you so much, Crystal, for uh, joining me in this uh, scrappy chevron project for Vlogmas. Okay, so the next one is from Jane, and she posted this picture over on the Facebook group. And so uh, I wanted to show her show you her pattern she's doing a chevron blanket i'll pop it in right here so there it is and she like i said she's doing a chevron blanket but it is looks like it is a granny stitch chevron blanket scrappy blanket it's looking great so thanks jane for a sending in a picture so we can uh, everybody can get a good look at it so the next picture right here is a picture of Terilyn's project and of course Terilyn is uh, the the sweet friend that is giving me the individually wrapped gifts that I've been uh, opening each day during Vlogmas. So Terilyn is joining us in the chevron blanket. Looks like her pattern is a little bit different than mine, which is awesome. But she's doing this, you know, I said any type of scrappy project really, if you want to work on, that's fine. Uh, it's just using up scrap balls. That's the main object. <laughs> Okay, and then now the next one is from Kim. So here's Kim's picture. And she's doing a chevron scrappy blanket. I think it looks great. I love all those colors that are popping up here and there. It's, it's just great. Uh, Kim does have a channel, I believe. I will link it down below. It's called Kim Loves Artie. And she has a few videos on there. Kim, you need to make some more videos and add to your channel. Uh, so 
uh, like I said, there's Kim's picture. I hope you enjoy that. I, I'm really loving all these scrappy projects. I think they're just, all of them are just awesome. Okay, now here, this this project's a little bit different. This one is from Monique, and she, she posted this on her Facebook group. She is doing squares where the center is, it's kind of like a snowflake type design, but then the outer, and then they're all white, but the outer is a different color each day, like a scrap ball that she's using. So it, it looks great. I love these squares. So here is the latest picture that she had popped up. Uh, in the Facebook feed of the five squares, no, one, two, five, no, six squares she's done so far. It looks great, Monique. Okay, and then these, this last one is John, and he's been posting pictures of, in the Facebook group of the Chevron blanket he's using. He's using some variegated, some self-striping, and then I think she, maybe some single-colored balls, but it, it's looking right, really great. I really love the 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 colorfulness, the, the many colors that's in your blanket looks great, John. Thanks for posting update pictures. Okay, so that is all that I was wanting to put insert in here to make sure that I um, give shout outs to those that are uh, joining me on this project. Now, I have read in the comments that there's other people that are also joining on this in this project and they're taught, they've haven't given me pictures or anything of them, but they did have been talking about it, you know, showing, giving me their progress, uh, verbal update on how they're doing. So I thank you so much, all those that are joining me in this project. I hope everybody's enjoying it. So let's go on to the uh, package from Terilyn. This is day nine and we'll see what I got from her. <laughs> Okay, it is, ooh, cool. These are magnetic snaps that you can put on uh, bags or whatever you need a magnetic snack, snap for. So she gave me two packages. Awesome, thank you so much, Terilyn. Okay, so I can use them on my bags. <laughs> Um, and so that is what I got from Terilyn and we opened our box and see what else we need to do. Oh, today is Friday. And so if you've been watching all my vlogmas, you know that I'm on Fridays, I'm doing a challenge kit with Ella of No Catchy Name. And so last week, um, I opened the challenge kit and it was a ball of light blue yarn and a ball of khaki colored or tan, you know, khaki colored beige yarn and then there was a a keychain ring in there and so i actually did two projects with that the two colors of yarn and so uh and i almost used up well i did i used up all the blue i still have a little bit of the khaki left and so the first item i made is this crayon <laughs> uh this is a i'm looking at the my notes here it is the kawaii crayon and the 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 um website is jen hayes crochets no jen hayes creations.com and i'll link it down below in the description box but i just thought it was so cute and so originally see i had i did add the black okay but but ella gave me these two colors and i added the black and i added the safety eyes um i just i thought oh that would be cute and that would be a cute um backpack buddy or whatever you know I could and then I could use the keychain ring that she gave me but then as you can see it's big and so I thought well that's big for a keychain I mean it is uh two three four six inches tall <laughs> and so I thought no I think I'll just put that up on my shelf or stick it on my desk I just thought it was so cute so I'm thinking well I still need to use the keychain ring and so then I found this project uses the keychain ring <laughs> it used more of the yarn like i said i finished the blue yarn and so i ended up you uh, making this little pouch now this pouch was inspired by a pattern that's called the nifty needle case and it's by mooglyblog.com but it like i said that one is it's a nifty needle case it's bigger it was bigger than this i think wider maybe i'm not sure but i know it was bigger yeah and so uh and it it didn't i don't think it had a keychain ring on it so i did mine a little different but anyway so 
uh, I added the button. The button was mine out of my button box, okay? And I just added, I sewed the button on and made a chain loop for the closure, just something easy. Because I think Moogly Bogs, they had a, they actually had a um, buttonhole built in, you know, when you were crocheting it. And I thought, oh, well, I'll just, I'll just do a chain loop and, and sew the button on. So anyway, the inside, you open it up. <laughs> and so um, on this one, I thought, I can't remember if Moogly Blogs was like this or not. But anyway, I know it was crocheted in. This little panel was crocheted in on her on that one. And it was crocheted on, on the top and on the bottom, okay? But the ends were open, like this is open. And I thought, well, what if I stitch this end closed, then turn it this way, and I will have a pocket. And so that's what I did. And so I stitched this closed with some blue yarn. So then you wouldn't see it on the back. And then um, inside the pocket, I have a little pair of my folding scissors. <laughs> so I thought that was cool. Okay. And then on the outside, as you can see, I have a needle stuck in there, darning needle. Uh, you could also put um, stitch markers in there. Okay. And then fold it up. And then what I had thought about doing is one of my tote bags. I will show you one of my tote bags. Uh, this one. Okay. So this is a tote bag that I made out of scrap yarn. <laughs> Not yarn. Hello. <laughs> scrap fabric strips. <laughs> okay. And I was thinking that I could use, I don't have it. Of course, I don't have one readily available. But I could use one of those uh, built into my pattern uh, put a little, um, a little tab that like hangs down with a little clip, the one that is for the backpack buddies that I use. And then this is a keychain ring that was in Ella's challenge kit. My stitch markers hanging out. <laughs> um, then I could clip this onto that backpack clip. And then the other end, like I said, would have a strip that would be through it and then sewed into the pattern. So it'd be like hanging. I know I'm sure you've seen the little hanging tabs that have like a ring on the end of it, like a D ring or something on the end of it where you could like clip your keys or something, you know, that you don't want to get lost inside the bag. But then, but I thought, well, you could do the same thing, but you would have this clipped onto it hanging inside your bag, see? like that and that would hold your your um needles or your scissors if you have little bitty ones here there you go <laughs> and you know stuff like that anyway that's my idea especially if you have a bag now this bag actually has a pocket right there it has a pocket but if you didn't have a pocket that would be an option to do okay you know if you have one of those rings that you could not rings but like the clips where you can clip it to the ring or clip the ring to the clip <laughs> anyway so that is my challenge kit for the day or for this week is i made these two little items with the um the yarn that ella gave me okay so this being friday it means that it's time to open another challenge kit from Ella. So let's see what's in here to see what's the next item. I'll have a week to figure out what to make with it, okay? Ooh, so I have a little goodie in this. I love these little bags, Ella. These are cute. Um, I have a, ooh, I have a ball of sparkly green yarn. Hmm. And the accessory in for the yarn is, oh, it's a little bow okay so i'll have to figure out what to make with this and like i said we can add our own thing if we need to add more yarn or a different color or something to it we can and so that is my ball of yarn and accessory and i need to figure out what to make with it and then next friday i will show you we'll do re reveal and i'll show you what i made with the the challenge kit okay let's see what's in here okay these little drawstring bags are so cute. Oh, it is a scented body spray. And the the scent is juicy orange. Oh, I bet it smells good. I haven't. Let me, let me, let me smell. Mmm, it smells like orange. That's a nice spring type scent. So thank you, Ella. So a scented body spray. And 
some chocolate. This is a good tasting chocolate. It comes from Dollar Tree. I've seen it. I saw it there last year. I recognized the wrapper, but it really tastes good. It's almost like a Cadbury chocolate taste. It's really good. If you have a Dollar Tree and you like chocolate, maybe you want to check it out. <laughs> another candy cane. And, ooh, another candy cane. Okay. So a sweet treat and a nice sweet smelling body spray. So thank you so much, Ella. And I will get right on this ball of yarn and I'll see what I can make with it. And I'll show you next week. Okay, so that is the challenge kit for this Vlogmas for this week. And let's see, showed you the yarn. I showed you what Terlin gave me. And so the next thing is the Advent chocolate Advent calendar. So let's find window number nine and we will open that up. I'm watching two different people that's doing Vlogmas that's doing the 24 Days of Coffee K-Cups. Uh, Cindy of Cindy Hearts Crochet and um, Crystal's Crochet Cubbyhole. They're, they're both doing that same kit. And it's funny because they'll unbox the, the K-Cup for that day. And they don't always get the same flavor, even though it's the same day in the same box. And so it's, 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 they're different. Okay, so here is my chocolate right there. And the rest of the, or some more of the Night Before Christmas poem says, Now Dasher, now Dancer, now Prancer and Vixen, on Comet, on Cupid, on Donder, on, and Blitzen. Okay. <laughs> okay, so that is my chocolate advent. I'll be eating that chocolate in a little bit. <laughs> and uh, let's see, what else? So today is Friday. Um, I think... I think we're going to be, we're going to uh, visit with my son and daughter-in-law this evening, the grandbaby. I hadn't seen him in over a week, so I'm having grandbaby withdrawals. So I think we're going to do something this evening together. So that'll be fun. Um, and then, yeah, that's it. Just working on my projects. And I, I didn't work on the Feel Better Friend doll or the cat. I was finishing up these two challenge items to make sure I had them done. And so I will definitely be working on those again today. Um, so yeah, <laughs> I guess that's it. So I hope everybody is having going to have a great weekend this weekend. Thanks for stopping by today for a visit for Vlogmas Day 9. Come back tomorrow and we will have another visit for Vlogmas Day 10. See you in the next video. Bye.